duality or love. I am a deeply caring person, but I couldn't give a fuck about winning any competition, cause competitions suck. Rangers, Celtic, England, Scotland, who cares who is the best? We are all one consciousness, let's lay duality to rest. For I was born into a world where people think they're free, fighting with each other to climb an imaginary tree. Well I can't take it anymore, I have to speak the truth, and if you don't believe me, you are the living proof. When are we going to learn? That peace cannot be won, it can only be withdrawn by a patriotic gun. For in this game of life, we are all God's chosen players, and love surely is the answer to all our secret prayers, our destiny stands before us, alone and in great pain. We have a choice to make, my friends. Do we want the same again? We create our future by how we choose to think, so why not evolve our minds? so that we can escape our animalistic clink, for the world is just a reflection of what we're trying to hide, the chaos and the turmoil that's going on inside, so let's dig it up and have a look, then leave it all behind. There really is no other way to obtain some peace of mind. You will feel much better when you burn your football strip. Although for some time after, you may have an unstable bottom lip. In the end, it's for the best. For there only is one team and that's humanity together in its collective, conscious dream. I mean, wouldn't it be great to connect with one another without the barriers of division, religion, creed, or colour, where time was never an issue, so no work. At nine o'clock, realizing in every moment that true love is all we've got. We fragmented soldiers could all unite together to investigate our mind. Awakened people would then be curious to see what they could find. Reality would be shaken to a deeper, more real depth. And we could all remember fondly the dream that we just left.